We're getting a lot of phone calls and people are asking, am I safe? Structural engineer Bill Croft says the I-80 sinkholes are prompting Morris County residents to pay attention to every little crack in their house, concerned it may be a sign of another sinkhole. It's human nature. We hear about something and right away we assume that it's all over or we assume it's going to happen to us. You have to think of the probability. It's all about probability. And that probability, Croft says, is unlikely. In my opinion, the chances of another major subsidence like this happening again is rare. Still, the trio of sinkholes on I-80 is a major inconvenience. Starting today, NJ Transit is letting riders skip the fare when you get on in Mount Arlington, Hackettstown, Mount Olive, Netcong, and Lake of Hadcock. You just need to pay the return trip. Added service, 50% off, as I mentioned. We're ready for it. On Saturday, Governor Murphy toured the sinkhole site with Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy. He expects two lanes of I-80 westbound will reopen within the week, eastbound within six to eight weeks. He says they're also bringing in experts from areas with a rich mining history. We determined Pennsylvania and Colorado are two good places. We're bringing expertise in from, from there in addition to the folks here on the ground. Governor Murphy says the interstate will not reopen until the DOT is sure it's safe. We won't let folks drive on them unless they are. So that's that's a fact and safety, as the secretary said, is, is paramount concern number one, both for the workers here, but also for folks who are driving along here.